Up first this evening, over 90% of Jamaicans have little or no confidence in the National Security Minister and the Police Commissioner. Now the data was obtained through the latest RGR Gleaner Don Anderson poll, which sought to gauge the confidence level. Andrea Chisholm reports. More than 45,000 people have been murdered in Jamaica over the past 60 years. Since the start of the year up to August 8, there have been 909 reported murders. That's 29 more than the same period last year. Shootings stand at 703, 53 less than the same period last year. At the helm of the crime-fighting strategy are these two men, National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang and Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson. Both were appointed in March 2018. Under their leadership, Jamaica has invested further in things such as Jamaica Eye while working to transform the culture of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. So, what level of confidence do Jamaicans have in the security leaders? 1,113 people gave their thoughts during the July 16 to 26 period. Let's start with Dr. Chang. 49% of those interviewed had no confidence in his leadership. 44% had a little confidence and 7% had a lot of confidence. For General Anderson, 46% of those interviewed had no confidence, 45% a little confidence, and 9% had a lot. When, when we looked across the demographic variables again, there was no major outlier. It was a fairly consistent pattern across the various demographic groups. And I think that's something to be noted that all the pre interviewed felt the same way. Pollster Don Anderson gave his reaction to the findings. In my mental summary, I've actually said, it is, has nothing to do with the personalities, but the fact that crime and violence is so pervasive, and these are the persons who are basically in the forefront of the fight. The, the lack of confidence is something which is almost a natural derivative and a logical follow-up to that initial issue as to crime and violence being the number one problem that we face and we have faced since independence. 46% of those interviewed said the inability to control crime and violence is Jamaica's biggest failure since independence. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.